Hüseyin yine sana işte diye sen. What up, be? Let's talk about it. So I'm just getting back. Um, I'm just getting back from VK, and I was on my drive on the way home. And there's a lot of construction on the turnpikes and everywhere. And I was told I needed to merge. Now there was eight miles of signs telling everybody they needed to merge. Keep that in mind. We're not even going to get into the number eight. But there was eight miles of construction signs going merge now, merge now, merge. Now is your time to merge. So the right lane was merging left. There was a semi who waited until 7.9 miles. And then all of a sudden acted like the merge was sprung on him. Like he had no idea the merge was happening. Plowed through the cones, plowed through the cones, traffic cones flying everywhere. <laughs> flying everywhere like he almost hits the like electronic blinking arrow sign that's like move this way move this way like um and then cuts off three people and gets in the left lane and i'm saying you misunderstood nine i'm saying you misunderstood the assignment because that's what spirit said to me on my ride home and they quite physically said that when we told you to keep your head down and to stay in your lane, we didn't mean ignore the signs. We didn't mean don't go with the flow. Um, we meant the exact opposite. We just meant mind your business. We just meant if it didn't affect you or concern you, mind your business. But the signs that we were very clearly giving to you, you should have been heeding. Um, so <laughs> they're pretty much telling me a couple of things. You, for whatever reason, have been resistant to change your movement. Not really sure why, um, but they are saying that it's something to do with your mental state of things or how you have been looking at something. Now, they're saying that there this is twofold in that this is a you problem because everybody else figured out they had to do movement and they had to shift, right? Um, but this is also a merger. They're telling you you need to merge. Timelines are merging is the other part of the message is that two is coming together, become one. However, <laughs> they're talking about now is your time to move. And if you refuse to move, that's fine, but you will continue to plow down the cones because the result is still to move. Um, they're saying you're going to get to the point and um, they showed me like a, like a road or a cord and it was glowing and it was broken. So there is going to be a point when it's inevitable because you cannot go any further but they're saying that the only thing that's gonna that's gonna hurt is you so they're saying move now save yourself the excess heartache of what happens further down the broken road or they're saying keep on going plowing over every cone ignore every sign every red flag every whatever that they have given you that's telling you change and movement need to occur um now, you can discern your own space with change in movement, but they are talking about it in a mental state. So they're saying that you have figured out physically and emotionally that something is not driving. You are slowly transitioning, but they're saying in the physicality and in the mentalness of it that you are still holding on or anchoring yourself to a thing that no longer serves you. Whether that be a timeline, a uh, mental construct, it doesn't really matter. But they're saying that you've gotten over it and chosen to move in every other way possible except for physically fucking moving um and they're literally saying that you haven't done this because of a mental construct or a mental state or the idea that thank you that you just can't wrap your mind around it um and they're saying that's fine but they're warning you that the road is inevitable, that it's eventually going to run out. They're showing me that broken cord, that broken road. They're saying there's going to be a point in time when you can't stop it and you're going to have to move. But they're saying the longer you take to move, the more the collateral damage. Not sure who that was for, but they told me that on the, on the car ride. Um, they told me that on the car ride home. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys just need to realize that movement is coming, whether you're ready for it or not. 